kitchen. I'm Patrice and I hope you're hungry today because we have um, something wonderful that we're making today. We are making fried cornbread. What you say? It is so delicious. My grandmother used to make fried cornbread for us uh, when she would fix like beans or just even like you know collards or greens or any any kind of uh, foods you know she'd have a plate of uh, pan of fried cornbread sitting on the table and that just was part of our meal and so I'm gonna make it for you today it's super simple not a lot of ingredients goes in it and it doesn't take very much time to do it so and it's fabulous you're gonna love it you're gonna fall in love with this recipe because it's just good and it's crispy and it's delicious <laughs> so let's get started right now all you're gonna need is a bag of white you're gonna need a bag of white cornmeal and make sure it's a self rising so that's what I'm using you're gonna need some oil of your choice and you're gonna need some butter I have made this recipe so many times that uh, we that I don't know exactly the measurements that goes into it so I'm just gonna walk you through it and show you how much I put in I just have made it so much I eyeball it and it just turns out it just works every time so I don't know I just I make it at Thanksgiving time I make this recipe for my dressing I put it in my dressing and so I mean I just have made it so many times that I just don't know the measurements that actually go into it because when my grandmother showed me how to do it she just showed me you know she just threw this stuff in there and I just watched her so let me show you what I know um, on how to make this recipe and don't forget that you will need milk as well because I forgot to tell you I forgot to have that sitting out you will need milk so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started and I am going to take my, my self-rising white cornmeal and I am going to just, now this is a cup, measuring cup, and I'll just start putting it in there. Two, maybe like two, a little about two cups, so about two cups of your white cornmeal. Um, now this is gonna make a pretty good pan size, so don't worry about that. We are gonna take this butter. Now I just have some here. I don't know how much is in there. And I'm just gonna drop it in there. And I'm gonna take the tools that God gave me to mix this in, okay? Cause you kinda wanna, you just wanna mix it in. And as you can kinda see, my, my uh, flour mixture is starting to get a little clumpy. And that's exactly what we want. We want that flour mixture. You're just working that butter into the cornmeal so that, um, and you'll know it when it starts kind of clumping together. <laughs> Violet's over here getting a drink. <laughs> she was thirsty. Was you thirsty, girl? Was you thirsty, Violet? Come here, girl. Hey. Was you thirsty, huh? Was you thirsty, huh? Yes, you were. You were thirsty, weren't you? Yeah, you were. You were thirsty. Yeah. I was like, no way. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, shut up. And she was like, you shut up. And I was like, no way. And she was like, okay then. Is it a hot day outside? kind of hot outside today now you can see how I'm doing and it's clumping together that is absolutely perfect should kind of resemble sand when uh, you get it mixed up kind of a sand mixture Okay, we are going to go ahead now and we're going to take some milk. 
I am not sure how much milk I'm going to need for this, so I'm just going to pour it into my one cup measuring cup. And you can use whole milk for this or even 2%. And I'm just going to pour it in there and see how much it's going to take. I just kind of know by eyeballing it and I stir it up to the consistency that you don't want to want it to be too thin. You don't want it to be too thick. So it's already taken a cup and it looks like we're going to need a little bit more. I don't think we're far off. pretty much right on the money so like about a cup and a half of milk is what it took so that's kind of neat that I'm learning the the uh, measurements of this as I go because like I said I've just eyeballed this all these years and just kind of done it Now remember if you if you use the other kind of cornmeal that isn't self-rising then you're going to need to add the other ingredients. This already has like the uh, ingredients I needed like the bacon powder, bacon soda, stuff like that. It already has the, uh, the ingredients I need for this cornbread to rise up. So um, that's why I use this and it's super simple. It's already got it in it and I don't have to go that extra step to add the other ingredients. So, um, if you're not using self-rising, make sure that you incorporate the other ingredients into your cornbread. I am going to take my pan, and I'm cooking all of this, guys, on my trusty campfire stove today. So, I am going to go ahead and get my little stove going. And it is going to work perfect to cook this cornbread. And I'm just going to put some oil in it. And I usually just, I like I said, I eyeball it. And I just usually just put some, put enough in there. But I'm just going to fry it. Just kind of eyeball it right there in the pan. It looks like I might have about a half a cup of oil in there. Um, and we're going to let this get hot. You're going to want to make sure that you have some sort of lid to be able to put on top of your pan um, to, cover, to cover your cornbread because whenever it starts cooking, if you put the lid on there, it traps that heat inside and helps that cornbread to cook evenly and be able to still crisp on the bottom. And that's what we're going for. Okay, guys, we are going to take a little piece just to see if our oil is hot enough. We're just going to take a little tiny piece and drop it in there and see if our cornbread is ready and it looks like it's frying. So it looks as if our grease is plenty hot enough. Now I'm going to reduce the uh, temperature of my grease because I don't want my cornbread to burn. This little cornbread in there. And we're going to cover it with a lid. I need to cut. Okay, guys, we are, I think we are now ready to turn it. Remember, don't be flipping it back and forth. 
Your cornbread only really needs to be flipped one time. You'll notice that your cornbread clumps up and it's brown around the edges. That tells me it's pretty crispy on the bottom. And I can see that it is. And so it looks as if we're ready. Oh, it all splattered on me. <laughs> Woo, looky there, guys. Oh, oh. take our lid and we are going to cover it. Do you see how pretty and golden brown those edges are and how crispy this is going to be? Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. We're going to just let this sit and let the rest of it cook inside. There's no need to flip it anymore. Okay, it looks like our cornbread is finally done. We are now just going to put it on this paper plate so it can absorb the rest of the oil and it is going to taste wonderful. I'm going to take the lid off. Turn the fire off. And Ooh. Oh gosh. This is country cornbread. so good. Oh my goodness. Really delicious. Time for the potato oh, soup. It's very crispy. And you can see, I don't know if you can hear that, that's the crunch. You're getting that top layer and the bottom as well is crispy. And you're getting that little snap and crunch and the center of it is absolutely just soft and moist and it's hot and buttery and it's delicious. Mm. My kids, when I make this, they'll go around and they'll pick off the crunchiness. They love to eat the crunchy parts and it's absolutely wonderful. Oh, it's so good. I could sit here eating this whole, whole plate. You can eat it with beans, guys, any kind of soups, any kind of um, any kind of dinner, this is going to go fabulous. Um, this is going to be your go-to recipe because when you find out how easy it is to make it and how absolutely not very many ingredients goes into it, it is going to be simply delicious. Mm, really good. Mm, you've got to try it. Guys, don't forget to check us out on the next video because we're going to make some soup or we're going to make something to go with this cornbread. So you're not going to want to miss it. Check us out. I think we're going to make potato soup to go with this cornbread. So check us out on the next video. Let's see if Tiny approves. Tiny, you want to bite? Oh, looky here. Tiny wants to bite. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think he thinks it is. It's a very good bite. Violet, want to bite? Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, ladies first. Ladies first. Yes, and I'll let you have the rest. Guys, they definitely approve of this. Of this uh, they love it, and it's good. I approve of it, too. You're going to approve of it. Be sure to please help us out. Subscribe down below and hit that bell of notification. We need you. We also love you. Thanks for watching. Check us out on the next video. See you later, guys.